Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Happy late Thanksgiving. Hope you and your families had a good holiday. Today's video is going to be a bit of a serious one. Here to discuss this with me is my pride and joy, Autumn Poor. Yeah. She doesn't say much. Anyway, we're here to talk about the most recent hack of the animal James Severs. For those of you who have been living under a rock for the past few weeks, I'll catch you up. In early November 2020, a massive data breach occurred and almost 50 million records were leaked. These records range from player account information to parent dashboard details to personal information, such as your birth year, gender identity and even your email address. The information was originally stolen in mid-October, but no physical action was done until later that month and into the next one. Keep that in mind for a something that I mention at a later point in this video. Regardless if you were affected by this breach, I encourage you to change your passwords as soon as possible. Great. Now that we're all on the same page, let's get to the real reason I'm making this video. My parent dashboard as well as my brothers had our passwords changed. Subsequently, all of our player accounts were compromised. Between all of our accounts, main and storages, we lost a decent amount of items. At the time we found out, the breach was unknown to the public. Also, the data breach hackers were not aiming for items, they were aiming for information. So it could not have been them who stole our items. This led me to believe that someone else got their hands on our accounts. AJHQ publicly announced that they reset the affected jammers passwords in November. It is possible that they did this early before the announcement. But I know that they definitely wouldn't remove items from several accounts, especially without reason. My brother and I didn't care about most of the items we lost. However, there were two items that were near and dear to me that were stolen. As many of my subscribers know, I've played Animal Jam for a very long time. In 2012, I visited the leap year party and bought most of the items sold there. I had all of the items I bought until this past October, when I was hacked. I lost my rare elf helmet and my rare phantom hat. I was very lucky that those were the only two leap year items that I lost. I have proof of owning these items, and when I sent my appeal over to AJHQ, I included this screenshot from July 2020. I heard back from AJHQ later that week to some unfortunate news. Moderators had searched news and concluded that those items never existed on my account to begin with, even though I provided adequate proof. I am not mad that I lost those items. After all, the both of them are just a couple hundred pixels, if that. However, I am upset about how AJHQ decided to handle this whole data leak situation and the events following it. As you saw in the email I showed, they blamed me for having a weak password, which at the time, was 11 digits with miscellaneous characters mixed in. Publicly, AJHQ apologized and tried to make things right. Props to them for doing that. But when it came down to the more specific issues, they brushed it off as if nothing happened. I understand that we are in the middle of a global pandemic, and on top of that, there was a massive security breach. But it would have been nice for AJHQ to give a little TLC to the more private predicaments that came of the data leak. I was talking with a few other jammers via reddit about this issue. It turns out that many people have had the exact same problems as me and my brother. In order to keep their identities anonymous, I am going to blur out their usernames feel free to pause the video to read their thoughts on the matter. I'm glad to know that I'm not the only one who thinks this. At the time this video was posted, this is the third major hack on the Animal Jam Classic website. The first being in 2013, courtesy of Fman122, and the second in 2015 thanks to Wretched Jungle. I was part of the Animal Jam community during all three of these incidents. I think it's reasonable for me to say that I am going to start gradually pulling away from the game as a whole. 
This is the third time I've witnessed my peers lose a part of them that is their animal jam account and the safety guaranteed with it. And for the first time, I fell victim to it as well. Just my luck that it happened to be the most severe of the three attacks. Let me make it clear that this is not a quitting video. I will definitely still play Animal Jam and play Wild, but just not as frequently. I feel more safe playing games like Minecraft and Roblox, or other games that aren't notorious for compromising player safety. Don't get me wrong. I've thoroughly enjoyed the past 9 almost 10 years I've been playing this game. AJHQ has an amazing creation that took lots of hard work to modify and maintain. Sadly, as I'm getting older though, I'm noticing the same problems that I witnessed when I was a little kid. And they seem to be getting worse and worse the longer I play. As for right now, I will return to the Animal Game franchise full time when the security measures are heavily updated. Autumn Poor, you've been awfully quiet. Is there anything you would like to add? Y yes Bring back Pet Monkeys 2020. That's not even remotely close to what I asked. Were you even listening to what I was saying? N no Sorry. You bored me. Oh well. I tend to get that answer from you a lot. I think this is a good place to end this video. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe jammers. Bo Autumn Poor, out. Hey. I'm supposed to say that, not you. Yes, yes, snooze, you lose. Get with the program. Oh my god.